The term Ubuntu is often used in a philosophical sense and that meaning is I am because we are. One woman's story today demonstrates just how Ubuntu can be used as a tool to tackle poverty in our communities. Hello, my name is Bule Mulebazi. Welcome to Stories Untold. Let's have a look at the story of Mandisa Nodada. This is a support group with more than 5,000 people on its database each year. It's in the heart of Johannesburg in the East Rand. It caters to the vulnerable, elders with chronic illness, the poor, as well as the orphaned. The support group was founded by the late Mandisa Cleopatra Notata, and today, Stories Untold looks into the good work she has left behind. This is the place where her humanitarian act was conceived. We talk to her daughter, Koli Swanodata, and she opens up about the heroine. She was very strict, um, loving, uh, a no-nonsense taker. <laughs> um, she used to say what she wanted to say, uh, but with that, intentions were always good and it always came from a good place so with her it was either you like me or you do not like me there was this lady from a uh, sondueni uh, auntie milene we used to call her auntie milene she was a very sweet indian lady that used to really um support my mother and she is the one that sort of like paved a way for umama good because what she used to do every month when, once she found out Guti, my, my mom was in that situation, she made sure Guti, when she does a grocery for her household, she does a grocery for us as well. So she would bring like Ugula and so and then my mom, I think that's when she realized the good. Okay, so if someone that I, that doesn't know me can do this for me and it actually helps. I can do it for the other people and it will help somewhere, somehow. So that's when it, I think it evoked those emotions of see I need to do something for the people that don't know there is help out there. But that was not always the case. The family only knew poverty when the mother quit her job. That's when it all started. It was after she left Umsebenzi, um, okay she used to work for it okay then she left because she felt with the the money that she was getting was not going to the extent that she needed it to go so she felt that she needed to do something else but little did she know with the, when she resigns like, yeah resign um she's not going to get the pension fund so that's when the struggle happened then she had to basically try and survive without any financial assistance from anyone but struggle can you love struggle as in really in a sense of where from us knowing Wuti, we can eat anything that we wanted in the house to us not having food at all for the night and by then we already we she had just bought this house yeah and um so family started basically pitching in where they could and i had to go and me and my brother actually, we had to go and stay with my aunt so that it was going to be easy for us to be able to have food and be able to get to school and be able to basically live. She wanted us to live like a happy, like childhood life without us seeing what she was going through. And because of that, she set out to help those who were in the same situation as her. She used to say Ugutsi, she was very ignorant. She never thought oh, there's people that can go without food, that can be as needy as she was with the kids, like with us. So then she wanted to make sure that no kid should ever go to bed hungry while she has an opportunity to make it different. So that's how the support group came about. She would start by Uptenga Isiinkwa and then send it to a a squatter camp because there's a squatter camp around that side so and then all those things and then 
uh, Umam Cynthia. Um, this other lady from a land a son doing lap of a son that corner where Auntie Melin was also from then said to her would you know and instead of trying to to like try and provide from your own pocket and from what you have you can actually get assistance from the government and this is the route that you can follow and this is what can happen so that's how it happened the organization became her sanctuary. She spent most of the time nurturing it. Uh, to be honest with you, she never had time for herself. And that's the one thing that I can say with the... I wish I would have changed because it was really about Um Zwake and others. She only used to say the only time that I have for myself is Sunday because I wake up, I go to church, I come back and I rest. But her garden was the only escape and the only time she dedicated to herself. Potatoes are over there and these like is the pumpkin. But then here there's butternut and the other and one. She used to thing. love ingati, got ingati, planting flowers, um, planting veggies. Um, she used to have ingati like at the back of the house. Um, where she would plant things and would be able to, once those things obviously is Pumile, she would be able to distribute it to people without her actually spending a lot of money. So, um, that's, I think that was more for like a, her space, like getaway, because she would do that when she's been through a lot of stressful time. Then she would just go in at Dini and then just enjoy her day there and then after that it will be witty she feels witty she's done something uh, worthwhile for yen that's that's what, that was my take out of it she says her mother taught her and her brother a valuable lesson of caring and paying attention to people and even though her passing was a bitter pill to swallow everyone still copes i won't really say left behind i will say something that i she's taught me and i think my brother also would be oh we see it's you need to really care for people you would really need to take time and care for the next person because a person is next to you fully dressed doesn't necessarily mean with everything is okay so i would say we see caring for people especially young ones because she was very passionate about kids. I won't say, Wuti, um, by her not being there, the work is not continuing. The work is continuing and it's, it's actually getting to a point where people are doing it because they want to do it, not because now they are told to do it. So, in progress, I will say, Wuti, instead, it's Yakula. Welcome to Stories Untold with me, Pule Mulebati. Sometimes life throws the unexpected our way and our worlds change for the worst. What some need at that time is just a little lift to get over the hurdle and rebuild their lives again. Mandi Sanodada started a support group to aid those looking to start afresh. Let's hear from the beneficiaries just how this support group has changed their lives. The support group proved to have been a ray of hope for many underprivileged children. Bonga Simelani and Nombu Sosbia, both orphans and now caregivers in the group, speak of the difference it has made in their lives. Umama wang tata or wang leta la support group nga sebenza. So I understand that wuti uguba poor eh muntu magaksiza ngazi feeling. So nami njongo wa manje sing apa sing save community kula wa bapua na bonya zuguti kuba iho pugubo na bomo bachuru si zola laika. I situation namu begunzi ma unta tu lasiwe lau mama mi benga namu untenga kuluma na bo so bona bebangenza bebangenza la ikanzeling so ingi zega kuli kanzeling cause ngapandi we support group gube angaz guti ngupi. They both speak highly of Nodata and not forgetting the impact she made in both their lives. Unyenze ngaba yero role model ila imparati ngobangsiza umparati. Unyenze ni kekiva ngahamba nyobo na ama atlayenti ngwakapi na se klinik ngwalandele imedikeshi niyawu ula baba wiki. 
fundile ukuthi bekho umuntu onomusa and bekangafuni uh, ama mistakes yena ngempela umfundisile ukuthi ngisebe and then yeah ngifunde kakhulu lobo nami ukuthi ngizidlale phansi ngibe humble out there ngavele mina maka ngiseva abantu not for my own gain but ngiseva abantu Bekathanda umphakathi ende bekathanda ama utility nama often beyangafuni ukubona umphakathi ulala ungadlanga that's why bebathola ama food parcel every month Lily Mate, whose life and her sons depends on the money she makes from collecting waste, tells us of the difference the support group has made in their lives. Nikrupia <laughs> Gok Clementina was introduced to the support group when it started in the early 2000s. More than a decade later, she still enjoys their service. This is how she remembers Mam Mandisa. Mandisa. <laughs> I <laughs> Welcome back to Stories Untold. The legacy of Mandisa Nodada is one that promotes Ubuntu amongst South Africans, proving that we all can play a role in improving the lives of others. Joyce Mtungwa, the support group's manager, worked very closely with Mam Mandisa. Mam Nodada, the late founder, in 2000. As I said, I won. And then Yakula, my cooler, what color apply a social development. Yaba registered in 2003. What color, what color, what color, Yakula, Yakula, up to manage. Man got play a lot of people to pay. And Abantana Abaka by two, and as a beans, and as Antonio was a potagan. So from a son to any beginning of six began with the better room for wool. So Magafila in to pay only a night. A cabana or monument to society in a young atlang. A pig a lugula look, who be mean in a near port. I am a little mascot a cans. Magafia corner, I'm getting house to house lab. I'm at back to pick a corner, a pig a lugula look. To me, Begao Mama, our husband, I mother in law, I your sister. She too was vulnerable and seeking help when she came across a board with the group's name and details. So support group. Being as a support group, it's about what again support as well as support group. As an organization set out to help the poor, Joyce details the kind of help offered. 
na bokoko saba divide in ama groups na sinama group ayingaki kune group ya bokoko kune group ya elabantu la babata treatment e HIV and AIDS kune group ya yama laba abasha na bantu na abashole la bazali ama 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 kaire no abo kune group ya abo kune group ya bantu ane forum she ya bantu na babo kune group ya ma widow. Bafundisa ukuthi i treatment ibaluleka ngani ngokuthi bayithathe njalo siba sizibenzisa ama exercises siba yenzela ukudla bahle bahambe Usizola bafi bona bafike bakufuna ukuthi like mlambile nabantwana ngisebenzi mele senza shoko le family lalidlile angina asibana uniform mele senza shoko ukuthi bana uniform abantwana although singa ikothenga izinto ezinja as in you should now you can let us into Zako, starting from Lapo, Snigas Abantana, Abantana Quatre de Scolo, who slated you inform Leo, Snigas Abantana by Scolo, Nica Tulo, Yunkinto, Ugula, social development is near the mat, staying on a foot parcels. A month, the savings are my family is a hundred, as many as Ugula every month. The organization has caregivers that do daily visits to vulnerable homes as well as providing them with food parcels. Si bapai support sana basi basi si ofisita ema kaya kuwa abo, and then kuna bantu basi lusu tu kakul, abang ena ma documento la South Africa, abang na kona galu kutoa ngeta galu ngama trans and nazi nizi ndo, so si bapai ama food parcels, na ma donation sio tola eu eu lets every Saturday, eu lets tete dugu kila na bantu ana food habisa yao. Kau sembilan kali lepas kopi tu je, jam sembilan. Kita bantu anak besar sahaja jam sembilan zang aku mungkin. Sebab ni warna banyak orang aku. Jam sembilan zang aku sahaja jam banyak orang aku kalau aku suruh lagi um tanah aku mampu um tanah kamu involve aku organisation. From an organization ran by one person to a group with the government's support, a board, as well as various stakeholders assisting, it sure has grown. Kukuli na kuhulu wanda ina tabanta wakuli nam nam mingine wao choice ina tagale tuyon. So bani ina tabanta ina tagale bani ina tabanta beba kuhula like abo na tabanta especially tabanta be 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 aba positive. Abo na ngati fele is a death sentence. Aba fun guaziwa aba fun benzani. So bega bi zama group aba chini lugute dene. Mota cha treatment le treatment le ifanye flu. Unga isad i shuguti ni saw na sitemu tisa sitatu sitemu treatment i bega zoya gu ba bani naite na ba kesi se aba kapitu na kinyo moto ya ake abenzi le mito kuba le gu tabantu ba 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 kule kuna boko kabata la la kabata ta la ba la se ba pumile kule ni se ba ba pumile gu e ukama problem se ba enjoy gu zama je ba zo kiche ima ba zo zali pola. Joyce highlights the passion Mandisa had for the organization and helping people. Oh, kapuwe detani kupia kwa kulu mama, detani kupia kwa kula ngao guti ya bogo guti si ya si bistrale si kashela kule kule ndau len. So ngo guya guya si bo ngo guti ndeni i ndau inani, wa wahamu kusali anju lea. Eti social development basi pamoja rent for la, a thousand rand. La na si renta i one point five. Pega pega kwa lisa ni malea kila from pocket ni yake, guti kubwa one point five. And then we cool our servants. We have fun alone. We have school your man. We catch a goal. Our health manager. This is our social auxiliary. We share them to the good master. Master, we get now. You, I, I, me, I be call. And I was telling about about the department to answer with. Master, I told the side. I think next time, master, I change. I go with the patron with that. Because now, man, she. You know, man, I bantu bantu base. 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 Even though she's no longer with us, her legacy still lives on. If it's positive and uplifting, you will be sure to find it right here on Stories Untold on the hashtag Stories Untold SABC. Thank you for watching today. Until next week, it's a goodbye from us here on Stories Untold.